What's going on, everyone? Today's August the 6th, 2023. We're going to talk about AMP today and try to figure out why in the world would buyers leave the market in AMP crypto? Because I did a price prediction. You guys can see it's right here in front of us of looking for AMP to go higher in price. And ever since I did this price prediction, the market has gone down in price. What in the world? Why would people leave the market in AMP after we saw such a fantastic move into the market in AMP over the last couple of weeks? Well, all I can say is that they're leaving because price is going down. And then once they see that the market is waning of the demand of wanting to come in and buy AMP, the market's going to go further to the downside. Now, you guys can tell that we are currently embarking on testing our trend line. So even though price in AMP has gone down, even though AMP has exceeded our area of support, which is right here around 2,500 points, we still have this trend line that we can expect some buyers to try to come in and step in and keep this price propped up. Now, if I don't see that though, then I'm going to play continue weakness into the market in AMP. We're currently seeing the market here in AMP. I want to show you this too, that this is where the buyers are coming into the market. When back in June the 20th, 2023, the market utilized this area of 2,400 points as resistance. Now you guys can tell the market here in AMP is utilizing it as support, okay? This is not a bad thing. So keep that in mind too. So let's break this down an hourly chart real quick because I want to show you all of the weakness that has been plaguing the market at AMP. And it started ever since we did our video. All of these indicators of weakness, all of these up fake bars, and all of these other price bars to where the market in AMP try to go higher. And then it ended on the low. On the close, look at these seven hour price bars. Let me zoom in so you guys see a little bit better. Here's one, here's another one, here's a third one, here's a fourth and a fifth one. So all of this entails that the market in AMP is weak and that the buyers currently cannot overpower the sellers. Right here, 2100 points is where the, bar, the buyers need to hold. And then looking at this last seven hour price bar, I had to give it to the sellers. <laughs> They're still there. The sellers into the marketing amp are still there. Real quick, look at this on the five hour chart. I think you guys can see where the sellers are still hitting the marketing amp. Here it is on the three. Let's take a look at amp on the one hour. And let's look at this on 330 minute chart. So I think you guys, I think you guys got the gist of what I'm trying to say that this particular market here amp is definitely weak here it is on the two-day chart eight hours and seven minutes left and we're currently seeing the market at amp grab the support area that we talked about so we're going to keep that there market came down to 2400 points and now we're seeing the market close a little bit higher here it is on the three-day chart i can't i have to give it to you that i'm not too ecstatic to see the market at amp go higher so the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and cut this last price prediction out the way. It did not go in our favor, at least not yet. So if we were to get out the market now in AMP, you guys can see we would be down 10.71%. Yes, I'm here to tell you that you're not going to get every price prediction correct neither. So we still have a crossroads though. So I don't want you all to think that all this lost. Here's a bullseye for the market buyers to come in and hold this crypto's price. We're there now. So we need to see the market in AMP hold this price ASAP. Okay. Let's look at this on the monthly chart. And you guys can see right here for the month of July, it wasn't too good. Market did have a pretty good move throughout July, but it ended off of the highs, which tells us that all this volume for the month of July was mostly selling. That's why the market currently is still getting hit with some sellers here in AMP now. So what do you think we should do? Should we look for the market in AMP to continue to hold 2400 points and go higher from here? Or should we look for the market in AMP to break 2400 points to the downside and go test this trend line? Which one do you think is more applicable? Because looking at this on a 15 minute chart, you guys can see that the downtrend definitely is in place for AMP. 
and I probably wouldn't change the idea of looking for AM to go higher until I see this market break this downtrend line. So we definitely need to see AMP break this to the upside. Until that time, I mean, I don't want to be a bear, but it doesn't look too good for the buyers. So let me go ahead and do this. We're going to go ahead and put on a price prediction looking for the market to AMP to trend to the downside. Albeit, I'll be the first one to tell you that I'm not looking for the market to crash. So the first target, like I said, is going to be around 2,400 points. It's only 3.9%. It's not a lot, but we can still see the market go to that level and test it. My second area for AMP is going to be around 2,300. Okay, which is what? Seven and a quarter. And then my third target would be not even that far from 2,300. Maybe like 2,275 is eight and a quarter percent move to the downside there. Okay, so that's it. Go ahead and give me your thoughts. Uh, let me know what you guys think about AMP. Currently, the suspect buyers will step in on the trend line. Do you think buyers will step in on the support area, 2400 points? Or do you think we're gonna see the market completely collapse and crash? Give me your thoughts. Make sure you maintain the profitability. And as always, trade different.